without 4.3s around the corner and with it, amazing futures are close to us. Today, let's check 5 amazing changes that are coming with without 4.3. Let's start right away. 1. Create folder automatically. So here this is quite useful for when we want to create a brand new project and we usually create a brand new folder for it. So now in this new version, what we have over here in the create button, we have here this toggle of create folder. So basically, as you can see, uh, where we want to save our project, if we have this option enabled uh, and we choose any path, in that path, we are going to be creating a brand new folder, okay? Uh, so here, for example, if I give the name of, you know, test um 4.3 dev 6 okay this is the path that i will have and i have no need to go over here browse to the uh, path create a new folder etc so it is a little bit easier and more direct to actually create their uh, folder i know this is something super super simple and that may not really have a, a super big impact on your game development However, this is something that can really help you save a couple of seconds when you start creating your projects and can overall improve the efficiency of the engine. And even more because remember one of the main advantages of using the without engine is its easiness and efficiency to create and open projects because they open so so fast. So even with this, you don't have to spend any kind of time creating the folder. You just write here your project name and you're ready to create and edit uh, your own game. So this will also save time and will even empower more the effectiveness and the speed of the good old engine. 2. Title bar color. So basically, in previous versions of Godot, the title bar, basically uh, the bar that we have at the top where we have the, minima, the minimize, maximize and close button in Godot. Well, basically this bar uh, used to be white and well, it could actually change its color depending on some options that you may have set up in your uh, operating system that's why i'm just here uh, just showing a screenshot because i have my operating system set up in a way that well all tight silvers have the same color that i set up in my settings but well by default uh good out uh used to use white as a default title bar color for all good out projects and well now basically here in good out now it is like a it should be completely black or well it may change a little bit depending on some settings that you may have in your operating system but now by default it's not going to be completely white it's going to be some kind of darker uh black color now this is one of the most important changes and i'm talking about the change in time maps so basically the time map mode is a node that didn't change a lot throughout uh, the good old journey but well in this version we do have some interesting changes so now the node that we should actually use in order to create our own time maps is basically the time map layer although we can still uh at least on this dev version use the time map node as this is already tagged as deprecated it basically means that you can still use it at least on this version but that in future versions maybe even for the official 4.3 version it may be completely deleted okay so make sure that you are not anymore using the time map and, and that on the other hand you're using here the time map layer i have already created here a pretty simple example so basically here it is the time map layer and as you can see the options are quite similar to the time map let me actually add here a time map node so that you can check it out so uh we do have here the exact same settings in terms of that it's going to still be using some kind of tile set okay and that then we will still have this button here to create the tile set and here we will have all the corresponding uh, options to correctly set up the tile set and then on the tile map again to select any kind of tile and use it around um so in the tile map it used to be the exact same things thing so the only thing that we are going to have here is in terms of the layers okay that will here in time map layers actually we will have each uh, layer of the time map separated okay so if you have different uh, time map layers you have like something like this and you can have here like some kind of wrapper of a node to the okay and that you can drag and drop everything inside of here so it's going to be a little bit more organized okay and you wouldn't have here to create your own layers okay and uh, have different layers with a different uh, tiles that you may have in each different layer so now uh, each layer will have its own uh separate node this is just to avoid having here multiple uh layers in the same node and having here tons of options to modify okay now this is amazing okay they have they have also integrated 
uh, auto updates validations, okay? So basically, when we enter here to Godot the first time, we'll have this offline mode updates checks disabled. Um, but actually, if we click over here, we'll open up the quick settings menu. That is basically the menu that you have over here. And well, besides other options that you can modify, you have here the network mode. So by default, it's going to be set to offline. Godot said that this was to preserve uh, users privacy but um, yeah, if you want here you can change it to be online and this pop this message over here will disappear so basically now in when there is a new version of the engine um here you we don't really have an idea i believe uh, about how the pop-up is going to pop up or what kind of window we may have or message we, we would have if there is a new version of the engine as is the first version that uh this new feature is integrated so maybe in the following version we are actually going to be able to see how this comes up being okay otherwise right now if we just go to settings we can set the mode to be online and well somehow then when we enter to Godot and if there is a new version we are going to somehow be notified so this is super cool because we don't have any more to be there on the Godot website checking out if there is a new version or not now we have more than 2000 changes for this version so there are still lots of things that i'm not mentioning over here but that are going to still be super super interesting so basically here if we go to the without interactive change log basically you can copy and paste this into your browser and uh, the site is going to pop up somewhere and um, here as you can see in a good old 4.3 have more than a thousand new things of course this is nothing compared to 4.0 but 4.0 of course, it was uh, one of the biggest without updates. Um, even I think that it was close to the one in without three that was the biggest update in without. So they were quite uh, sorry. Four point zero had far more features than without three point zero that that was used to be the biggest update in without. Um, so basically, here as you can see, we have over two thousand new changes much more than we used to have in, in 4.2 with 1080 and of course much more than in 4.1 um and even more than we used to have in growth 3. so yeah of course this is an amazing uh, new because uh, this means that well uh, we are going to have massive changes huge changes over here and a lot of more other changes that well i'm not mentioning here i'm mentioning here the five most important features that we are going to be having for this version but of course Feel free to read over here or read to uh, over other articles that Godot may have posted uh, if you really want to take all the juice out of this version because there are tons, tons, tons of amazing new features coming. So basically, this was all for today's video. With this, you do have a more general understanding of uh, what are the new features that are coming to Godot 4.3. We don't really have yet uh, a date for when this is going to be finally released with some kind of beta or a more stable version. But probably in just something like three, four days after this video is published, we do may have some news because we know this always weekly or at least like every 10, 12 days providing there some kind of updates. So the updates that they provide, so they are always super usual. Um, so just be patient for a couple of more days and probably we'll have more news. And when that time comes, of course, I will try to be the first one on uploading them. So make sure that you click on the bell icon so that YouTube will notify you as soon as this version is released. Okay, so this is all for today's video and see you in the next one. Bye bye.